So don't worry guys, uh, Filipinos like me, we are not immune to these things. Even my mom, uh, we experience this as well when we hire relatives to do, uh, let's say, when we want them to repair our house, maintain something, uh, replace roof, roof sheets, like that. So don't feel bad much. We, we, we experience this as well. So if, but if you really prefer to hire people, so let's say you, oh, I want to help the relatives of my Filipina. Okay, let's say you want to do that. And uh, the best thing to do there, guys, is set rules. You have to abide those rules as well. Set rules for them. Tell them, have a meeting with them, and inform your workers before you start building something. Mm -hmm. Also, uh, prepare an agreement letter. So, I strongly suggest this one. Prepare written letters, written agreements, and have them sign it. You have to make sure as well that they understand it. Especially, yeah, they buy you. You speak English, and how about them? So, probably you need someone to translate everything uh, to them in their local language, right? Other language. You have to make sure that they understood the rules okay so and one more thing guys always check at the end of the day right so they they work let's say let's say 7 a.m to 4 p.m always check your tools it doesn't mean that they are going to steal we're not saying that they are thieves right so just check your tools double check uh not the person but your your house maybe the construction area if something is missing and you can always ask them ask them nicely because you never know that the electric drill <laughs> that you that you have that I don't know what your hundred dollar electric drill is missing and a lot of Filipinos do this as well we borrow things we don't ask permission and we lend it to others and if if something is missing or the friend loses it we just say oh um someone stole it and it will never get replaced anymore hmm. and moreover guys when you when you construct your house right i suggest that you have to be hands-on as well why not right why not okay so instead of hiring another construction worker or carpenter at least you you've saved a little or i think you will save much so be be hands-on so that you will know how things work here as well be friendly and do not act too bossy not because you are paying paying them it doesn't mean that we we look you know you look down on them stay humble and better chat with them occasionally right so chat with them, ask about their families because they will build build a relationship. Because when you show friendliness or a friendly attitude, more likely they will give it back to you. And of course, we need we need a harmonious relationship. Mm -hmm. Because otherwise, you never know guys, things start missing, their tools, and maybe they will not... Uh, should I say they will not work diligently uh, they will not work accurately and that will be the payback time there